So this is going to be a reading for my Libras. Thank you so much for joining me. We're going to go ahead and get straight into the reading. If at any point you do want a personal or you want to subscribe, feel free to do so. All that information will be below. All right, Libras for June 5th through the 6th. So let's go ahead and discuss this. So the first set of cards is going to represent your love life. And we have hope as well as the two of pinnacles. So um, when it comes to your love life, mm, there's like this fluctuating energy going on. Things are very up and down. You guys could have some really high highs and some really low lows. And it's very confusing, especially um, with it being so, again, up and down. It could literally be within the same day. You guys are on really, really good terms. And the next second you guys aren't. And then you guys are good right after that. So that could be quite confusing. Um, for others of you, the issue may actually be like somebody's personal energy is all over the place. So in turn... They're all over the place romantically or within the connection. Okay, some of you are like really trying to remain hopeful or somebody here is trying to remain hopeful in terms of this still working or still being conducive. But it, it really is starting to become too unstable. I also see there is some Libras out there in particular who are just really unsure about whether or not to take someone back. So you may not be in a relationship with this person, but you've been going back and forth about the pros and cons on what would be the outcome of you taking somebody back after, you know, possibly being a cheater or just being dishonest or you guys just not being on the best terms. Some of you are also tired of your person having another party in the mix and you've been pretty lenient in regards to like this person, like finding their way and figuring out what they want to do. But you could be kind of tired of that, too. Now, when it comes to career, we do have emotional withdrawal and we have the page of cups. So when it comes to your career, some of you are using your career as a way to emotionally withdraw from your personal life. So. Some of you are not dating right now and you like solely focusing on your career, focusing on the bag and all that is keeping you from really feeling your feelings. Um, others of you, like your personal emotions are affecting your career. So you could be going through some things emotionally, some mood swings, just some days where you're just not feeling up to par. And this could also be creating a circumstance where you're not giving your best performance wise. Hmm. Some of you just don't feel as connected to what you do anymore. Like you could be kind of just, eh. You just may not feel up to par during this time frame. I, I'll just say that. Now, advice here with the Three of Wands and the Deception Envy card. The advice, um, there's definitely a need for you to make sure you have more of an optimistic view of the future and that you guys also take your experiences in the now and use them as a blueprint to make sure you don't make decisions that in the future will make you repeat certain um, experiences. Also with this, there's a need for you guys to allow yourself to focus on the future. Some of you are like too focused on somebody who's like a liar or very jealous or just very like untrustworthy. Anybody who you feel like you cannot trust 
and you keep giving them the benefit of the doubt, you do have to also, with giving them the benefit of the doubt, prepare yourself for that person to let you down in the process. Because once deceptive, not saying that they always remain deceptive, but it, it's hard to fully say that this person won't try it again. So definitely make sure that you're not letting deception also keep you from opening up to new experiences, thinking that somebody in the future that you're going to date is going to cheat on you as well. Cause that's not the nature of every person that you're going to date. Now the possible challenge that may come up, I do have the King of Wands in reverse in the fulfillment of wishes card. So um, the possible challenge may be you dealing with a player with that King of Wands energy in reverse. Um, an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo specifically. Um, mm, so you guys not really having the energy to like create or to be on top of your stuff. Some of you, your confidence level may be... Mm, a little weary during this time frame. Also with the fulfillment of wishes card. There's something specifically that you want that you may not get during this time frame. Not saying you will never get it. It's just it won't necessarily happen the way that you may be thinking um, during this time frame. Okay. Now what I see for the unexpected that may come up. I have the solitude card as well as the eight of swords. So this is you taking some time for yourself. You may find yourself wanting to isolate yourself completely to really take some time to sort out this eight of swords energy, which is like feeling trapped by your own thoughts. Um, yeah, so you may be finding yourself just wanting to be to yourself or someone around you may be wanting to be complete to themselves. And this may make you feel like there's something that they personally have against you, but it's not that it's just, they may be going through a lot. Hmm. Now the outcome with the fertility card and also the Empress. So we have the Empress card twice. I've never really seen that before. But um, for the outcome, some of you could be finding out that you're pregnant, um, especially if you have been trying to like on purpose. Um, some of you, something around motherhood may come up or something with your mother, something in regards to a mother figure may be of significance or a mother in law. Something to do with like finances, more like more money. Let me clarify this, clarify the outcome. Two of Cups. Yeah, so there's going to be a, a lot of like random things coming up towards the end of this time frame. Again, this may have something to do with like motherhood or something to do with parenting. If you are a parent, something with like the other parents <laughs> may come up. There's something here, but I'm going to stop right here. I hope that you were able to take something from this video. If you were, thumbs the video up. Feel free to subscribe as well. All the information will be listed below for a personal and I will see you in the next one. Bye.